Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you how to find a child object, literally a child by child by child object by name. So let me just show you first. So you can see we have this red ball. The red ball will pop to um, the position of the name. So I'm just going to lock this. So let's say we want it to be the right leg instead. We literally pop the name in and the ball jumps right to it. Of course that is because this is running in an update loop. And let's say we want it to go to the arm. It finds the name of, um, as you can see, it, f it takes in the player and then it looks through all of the game objects and find the name we are typing in and move the red ball. All right, so how are we actually doing this? Well, let's do it. So I'm just gonna s delete the script so we can make it all from new. If it wanna delete it, there we go. Let's just remove it and add it again. And we called it move red ball and let's just call it two this time. So I don't get any naming conflicts. Oh, here we go, come on. Okay, okay. Well, I should. All right, here we go. All right. So first up, we need so we can get our hand on the name. So we're gonna make a string called name, and we need a reference to the red ball game object. So red ball. And after that, we need a reference to the player game object. So game object underscore player. Oh, player. I'm just gonna delete this. And then we need the class itself. So we know we want it to return a game object. The game object is going to find. And I'm just gonna call it something ridiculous long called literally find children game object by name because that is what isn't going to do then it needs the parent so we're just going to call it top parent game object then it needs the name so the game object it's supposed to find the name of so game object name if I'm doing some spelling mistakes here, I'm sorry about that. So, just gonna have it return null in the beginning. Meaning if it doesn't find anything, it will just return null. So, then we need a for each loop where it will go through uh, all of the top So parent game objects child the children. So let's transform dot child count. Where after we will check if check if the one we are looking at is the is the actually um, child we are looking for. So get child dot name. Oh dot name. Come on equals the game object name. So if that is the one we want, won't well, we just go into return that one? So dot parent dot get child oh I forgot transform get child i dot game object return. Else, we actually want it to check if it can go into its own children. So, find. So, we're actually going into um, having the object itself go into an object below it. So, if we go in here, it pretty much means it will. Um, that the body, that the player will first go into the body, the body will then go into the head, the arm, and then the arm will then go further down, and then go back up, and then go over here, and go down, go back up, and we go down. I hope that makes sense. Alright. So we just need... Oh. Top 
player dot transform dot get child dot i uh, dot game object. Then we need the name of the thing we want to find. And then we're gonna check if TMP is not null. Because if it is not null, that means it has found the game object we are looking for, and then we can just return it. Else it will just keep looking through the list. And that is pretty much it. So up here we of course wanted to try and find the game object. So we're gonna just gonna go game object TMP equals this one here and uh, we wanted to look through the player and the name so if it is not null well we want to move the ball to his to that position so we are going to say grid ball dot transform dot set parent and of course we want it to be the transform of the object we just found and afterward we want it we want to set the transfer dot position to be null so it's literally moving to that null position so this down here is just to make sure it moves to the parent's position it's probably a smarter way but this should do it so we're gonna save and return to unity we need to drag the player, the red ball, and then we need to type in a name. But because we are checking for null checks all the time, we don't actually need to type in some here. So if I go left hand now, you can see, because I'm not spelling it 100% correctly, it's not moving. But when I do, it is. And you can see the red ball is right under, it is not right under left hand oh yeah that's because we set it to position and not local position and let's actually fix another one and do just to lower to lower and to lower that means we uh, we have we can ignore upper cases that means I don't have to spell um, left hand with a big L and a big H So now I can just go left hand instead. And that is pretty much it. We have now done it. As you can see, it's now moving around and finding the right position in uh, the, you know, the children's of the children's. I'm going to show the code one last time here. Here it is. So it, this is pretty much what you want. The other thing up here is just as a showcase. And that is it. Thank you for watching.